Hi everyone, my name is Timur Bislangurov. I am managing partner at Vista Immigration Law Firm in Moscow. And today we're going to speak about a new possibility how to immigrate to Russia. And it's Russian so-called golden visa. Yeah, permanent residency by investment program that was actually approved in January 2023. So let's see what uh, Russian RBI can offer. So um, foreign national can obtain permanent residency in Russia in case foreign national invests 15 million rubles into socially significant projects in the Russian regions. So what is a socially significant project? To be honest, it's, it's quite vague, yeah, because, uh, I mean, we work very closely with the Russian government in order to understand what those projects would be. And it's not charity, yeah, it's investment, which means that theoretically for an investor can get his money back. But right now, the list of the projects which Russian regions have provided to the ministry uh, that stands behind this program is, I would say, is more of a charity. But charity which doesn't go to, I don't know, kids or any other things, I would say those projects would be like, I don't know, construction a road in some area of Russia. So basically those are social obligations of the Russian regions which they provided as a socially significant project. My biggest question is how do you get your money back if you invest into the socially significant projects? If any of you is happy to give away 15 million rubles and potentially not, the, not get this money back but get in return the permanent residency in Russia for yourself and all your family members, then it's okay. But right now there is, we haven't found yet or haven't created a socially significant project where you can get your investment back. There are options that we work on and basically we do hope that in the very very nearest future we will be able to provide some of those projects where you can invest money and sometime in the future you potentially can get your money back and maybe some interest on your investment made. Right now we don't know what those, yeah? American Village potentially can be one of those but that's something which other people uh, will tell you more about and you know who I'm talking about. Point number two is company set up in Russia and there is no amount that you need to invest into this company but the qualifying criteria in order to get the permanent residency is the amount of taxes that the company has to pay which is 8 million rubles after two years of existing. So you have to create your own company, you have to be 100% shareholder in that company, no joint ventures are allowed. Yeah. You are the 100% shareholder of your company and you have the right to apply for permanent residency in Russia only after two years, provided that the company paid 8 million rubles in taxes. Any taxes. Company profit tax, VAT, doesn't matter. Social security, employer taxes, doesn't matter. But that's the qualifying criteria. Okay, point number three is investment of 30 million rubles to an existing Russian company. So the Russian company has to exist for at least three years and you have to make the investment of 30 million rubles to an existing Russian company, which paid 6 million rubles with, on the last year. Yeah. So if company exists 20 years, you invest into this company, the, w the year you invest, previous year, the company has to pay 6 million rubles in taxes and your investment amount is 30 million rubles. Now, uh, if not the sanctions and if not what's going on uh, in the world, I think that the best option would be to invest into Russian stock market. So you invest into a Russian blue chip company. You definitely know that the company exists more than three years. You definitely know that this blue chip company paid 6 million rubles last year in taxes. You invest 30 million, you get your permanent residency. If you want to sell, you easily sell. Yeah, it's very liquid type of investment. Imagine investing 30 million rubles into a private Russian company. You need to do the share purchase agreement. You need to do the due diligence of the company. You need to sign an exit strategy. I'm not really uh, fond of that type of uh, possibility to get permanent residency. I think most people would be investing into Russian blue chip companies, but for citizens of unfriendly so-called countries, that's not possible, yeah? So investors from other countries which are friendly to Russia, they can do that, yeah? Citizens from unfriendly countries right now cannot invest into blue chip companies. That's a limitation that we have here uh, in Russia, on the Russian side. Uh, now, point four, investment into real estate 
that was built not more than two years ago. That's important. Yeah, you cannot just buy any type of apartment or commercial real estate. It has to be kind of brand new, not older than two years. Um, and the investment amount would be 20 million rubles for Crimea and the Far East regions. Far East is Siberia and the Far East, and it's about 11 regions where you can buy commercial real estate, apartment for 20 million rubles, but that is cadastral value. Cadastral value, probably like in most of the countries, is lower than the market value. Yeah, so in Russia, it can be 30% to 50% difference in cadastral value and the market value will be higher. So 20 million rubles cadastral value potentially can be 30 million rubles in Crimea or the Far East region. Now, all other regions except for Moscow will be 25 million rubles cadastral value that you need to invest. And Moscow is 50 million rubles cadastral value, which potentially can be 80 million rubles. Yeah? Uh, and again, as I said, this investment has to be to a kind of brand new building, um, which is actually quite hard to find, you know. For these numbers, in some of the regions, it would be pretty hard to find uh, real estate worth that much. Uh, but you can invest into several. Yeah, if you invest into several apartments, then your investment will be aggregated and you will still qualify, provided that cadastral value uh, is met. Now, what's important? This residency, uh, I would say, is um, uh, for potentially passive investors, yeah, because uh, you don't need to reside in Russia for six months after you get your permanent residency. You actually don't need to reside in Russia at all. But the strange thing is that in order to apply for residency and get it, you need to pass the Russian language test, which is not very logical, but uh, that's, that's the way it is uh, right now, at least. Yeah. So that's, in a nutshell, about getting permanent residency in Russia through investment. Again, for some it may work, for some uh, probably other options would be more suitable and applicable. Um, we have more video videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.